So we're moving on to getting throttle cable built. Um, I've got some cable building kits. This one actually was a cable. I don't remember what this one was for. I think this was one that I got with the Odyssey that was supposed to be for brakes, but I never used it. Um, so I'm gonna chop it up and try to use it for this. If not, I've got other cabling. So I'm gonna run this one and delete the uh, factory motorcycle one that I kind of have routed through here and uh, route a new sheath up through into the uh, little body here, wrap it down around, run it to the back, and then I'll build a little bracket to catch this cable end, and then I'll have to build um, a little adapter piece or something to attach this cable to the other one, and then it'll all mount down on the inside of the frame, and that way we can have throttle. So we get started. So we're making some progress on the uh, throttle cable. Didn't show any of this, but basically just cut a cable to length and then uh, cut the sleeve, put the end on it so I can thread it to one of these nice little brackets that I made and then weld it on there. So those will just go on like that to hold that. And then I ran it through a little brass sleeve for putting like a cable end on it. And I just ran both of them through there kind of crimped a little bit, silver soldered it. And that way the two cables will be held together. And then uh, this one here will also get the little bracket and then get welded to the frame up in here. That way it can all get mounted up. And uh, I couldn't, the reason why I attach these two cables together like this is I didn't really feel like building a uh, little device to try to hold the two cable ends together. And uh, also, I couldn't take this box apart to just build a whole cable. Um, it's like glued together and I didn't want to break it and then have to buy another one. So I figured I would just go this route and try it. I've silver soldered cables together before and it worked. So we'll see what happens. So there's a slight possibility that I didn't leave enough room in between uh, here. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this back with the grinder. Hopefully I don't cut the cable on the inside. I guess if I do, I'll have to build a new one, but uh, we'll see if I can trim that a little bit shorter. I uh, got it cut through, didn't cut the cable, but for some reason it didn't dawn on me until afterwards. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to cut that guy off there as well because it's not gonna make any difference unless I do, so figure that out now. We got throttle all hooked up. I was able to uh, trim that little sleeve down the middle as well to get it the rest of the way off there. And uh, so now we get full throttle when the uh, throttle's twisted. Before we were, uh, it would just hit the, the little soldered bit would hit the uh, end there and only make it go about halfway. So definitely gotta have full throttle. All right, so we're getting started on building uh, coolant tubes for this thing. I chopped this off of the snowmobile because this is kind of a goofy size and this hose is a little stretchier than the uh, than the three quarter inch hose that I have. So I use that and then this is just one inch tubing. I'm gonna go ahead and like chop it and then just pinch it back together, seam it up with the uh, TIG welder, make it a little bit smaller since this is three quarter inch to get it down to where I can fit it in there a little easier. I could probably stretch it, but we'll just go the easier route. And then gonna use some of this one inch pipe. Um, so it's one inch inside diameter because it's pipe. So I'll be able to just chop a piece up here in the smooth section, build a little adapter to get to the 
inch and a quarter neck there, run a short piece of straight tube there, or straight hose, I should say, and then we should be, uh, should be in business. We've got three pieces here now to make this one fitting because after I got this piece sized down, seamed up, and then uh, I put a little bead around the edge of it, which isn't the most beautiful thing in the world. It's quite terrible, but it'll do the job. It's just got to hold the hose from shooting off and shooting hot coolant all over us. So should do that. And then uh, I just chopped another piece of one inch tube, slid it over the top, to uh, space it up to that size to get the inch and a quarter outside diameter for that. So I'll run a bead around this one and then weld them all up and then we'll be able to uh, hook the top hose up. So the upper hose is done, got that adapter made, and then uh, now we're gonna move on, get this lower hose done. This is actually one inch here instead of the three quarter, so I've just got some one inch hose and I'll be able to run it down and then just build another one of these adapters, but just run the straight one inch tube out of it and then uh, to run it from there up. Gotta trim these uh, fittings a little bit for the overflow. We got the uh, lower hose done, built a little adapter. All the hoses will get clamped on, but not doing that yet, because I'm gonna probably have to take them back off at some point before too long. But we're gonna move on, and uh, I'm gonna eliminate this radiator cap here, because we've got one on the radiator anyways, which will get moved around later on, but that's not to worry about for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, build a little steel triangle, and then uh, that way we can Get rid of that. got the little plate made, ended up using some eighth inch aluminum that I used for the uh, clutch guard as well. Didn't put a bleeder port in there just because there's really not much of a point because this hose is the highest point in the top of the head, essentially. And then it runs to the radiator and the radiator filler is gonna be higher than the top of the engine anyways. So it'll be able to bleed all the air out that way. We're gonna try to get a test drive on this thing, probably not next week's video, but the video after that. So make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, get that bell on so you get notified when we post the next video. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>